The building of the new Tappan Zee Bridge promises to bring a mini commercial and residential property boom to the Hudson Valley. The consortium spearheading the project is going to need staging areas by the water, and many of those workers, of course, are going to need a place to rest their heads at night. News 12's Robert Wolf brings us that story as we continue our coverage of the building of the new Tappan Zee Bridge. This level is about 18,000 square feet. Jim Damiani is a senior broker with Rand Commercial Services in Rockland County, and he's talking about this building on Route 303 in West Nyack that has just been leased by Tappan Zee Constructors, the consortium building the new bridge. Well, it is good news because uh, uh, this, uh, this property has been for lease for uh, a length of time. Damiani says this used to be the printing and distribution plant for the Journal News. It's been vacant for about three years, but by the summer he expects it will be used as an indoor staging area for the bridge construction project a project creating a boon for the commercial property market here. It's been a little uh, challenging, uh, uh, to say the least. We've gone through a, a rough patch with the economy, and uh, this is uh, definitely a stimulus for Rockland and I'm sure for Westchester. Further north in Havistraw, 11 acres by the water has been leased and will be used as an outdoor staging area where barges will come in to pick up concrete and steel. The owner of the Union Restaurant just a few blocks away says that's good news. It will be a positive impact for the whole community and, and for us for us as well around here. Above and beyond the need to lease commercial property to get this bridge built, there are going to be hundreds of people involved in building it and they'll need a place to live. And the expectation is they'll lease homes and apartments here in Rockland County. We're in Valley Cottage, Robert Wolf News 12.